Good morning, traders. It is Tuesday, March the 5th. Taking a look at the charts, we've got the SP500. More or less, we have got the 30-minute uh, chart here with green bars indicating we are still in an uptrend, but the market is starting to struggle a little bit, which we talked about uh, about a week and a half ago. Uh, more or less, we've seen the market dip down into these uh, short-term oversold kind of momentum kind of buy signals where it should uh, it gets oversold intraday and rebounds. We had that again yesterday. Uh, the market starting to lose a little bit of steam. You can see here on the SP500, we've come up and we came back down. We came back up for a potential double top. Some pretty strong selling yesterday, and now we're back up under this five-day moving average. We'll see how that can unfold. You can see this resistance line from this previous high over here, another high over here, and there was the third high back on the chart a little further. Uh, overall, um, we got up to that level. We saw some big selling step in, and now it's consolidating. We'll see if this is the start of some more volatility and a potential breakdown below the 20-day moving average and a sharper correction. Now, yesterday we saw the market gap higher. Uh, if we just zoom into the 30-minute chart here, yesterday we saw the market, uh, it wasn't a huge gap, but the market did gap open. We saw it gap up and typically gaps fade. We we're gonna gap above this red hashtag indicating an overbought territory. We were expecting the market to fade back down to fill the gap, which it did. Continued to pick up a lot of speed with some big selling. Uh, more or less, we talked about that in pre-market. And then it came to close the day back in neutral territory, not in the lime green, but just in regular uh, territory after that. Now, yesterday we talked about how the miners were set to gap uh, sharply lower. If we look at the GDXJ, how they are likely to gap lower and then rally back up. We had a spike on the GDXJ indicating an, an upward spike, meaning the gap lower was going to get bought. Again, gaps tend to get filled. Not to mention we had a spike to the upside and we saw GDXJ gap lower, wash out quickly in the morning and then come back and rally strong on the day, which is what we were expecting to see. We'll see how much um, life we get out of here. Um, there's uh, there's potential here that we see some, some big volatility in uh, the miners. Uh, the big question is how much uh, power are they going to get? Are they going to form some type of bear flag here and actually break down and roll over, break this significant low over here? Or are we going to see them rally all the way back up to the top? Again, we talked about this. Um, we're back into this big volatility kind of range in the market. We're up to this significant level here um, where we could start to see some uh, pretty big volatility across the board. If we were going to see this continue, we could see the volatility range trade in here. Maybe we're going to, maybe this is a, the start of a, a bit of a narrower range, but either way, uh, big volatility as it's going to try to eventually kind of break through the upper half of this, this zone here. Gold really shows a, a more uh, clear picture of this resistance area. This is uh, where we're seeing the uh, upper end here where the market came up and then sold back down in a big way. This is what I'm more or less anticipating is this type of price action right up in here as the market kind of consolidates, maybe builds a launch pad before breaking through and running higher. But uh, overall, gold's not looking so good. It's uh, hanging on by a thread. And it, at really at any point here, we could see a big uh, let loose and see a continued big drop. The last time we got up into to this area, we saw a fairly significant drop down. And the, the last time was a much more uh, significant drop. So we'll see how things go. This will be a pretty significant line in the sand here around this 1270-ish uh, area, 1275. If that level breaks, we could be coming back down to this 12. Uh, 40. We'll just see where the market uh, starts to stabilize. But overall, we did get long back here in September. We played this up. We got uh, out. And now it's uh, back down to this level. We're going to start to see this volatility uh, or potentially a breakdown while the U.S. dollar tries to firm up. Now, if we take a look at the U.S. dollar, here is the dollar index. Uh, it's a small chart here, but more or less trading higher again today. Again, we're looking for it to continue to push up and run to new highs up to the 99, maybe 100. If it does do that, then gold, silver miners will be under pressure for a steeper, uh, deeper correction. Looking over at, uh, let's take a look at our play, the Tech S. 
Um, started to show some signs of life there uh, yesterday. This is a leveraged ETF, so it gets really squished in the price action. Uh, but more or less, started to show some life, ended up coming back down. We'll see if it uh, is starting a reversal where we get a pop up to this 20 day, potentially uh, even further over the next uh, few trading sessions. And we see a big spike in the VIX. We talked about how we're looking for a spike in the VIX to happen uh, soon. If we look at the chart here, we've seen a big pop in the VIX back in December and it's since then it's been more or less fading down. We had a pretty good pop yesterday up about 12% at one point, ended up coming back down, but overall it feels as though we're getting close to a much sharper uh, spike in the VIX up into the, uh, the the 20s here. And uh, if we go back to the SP500, this is a low volatility time. It's creeping its way up very narrow bars. When it does start to break, we could see um, something like this where we get these big red down bars in the market to try to buck the trend, shake everyone out. And uh, I think a lot of people are starting to get a little bit nervous. And of course, once the selling starts, there'll be a lot of people unloading to get out. And uh, the question is, how deep will this correct? Is it just going to be a minor correction down into this uh, tw uh, 2720 area? Or are we going to see something much sharper down to the 26 and a big spike in the VIX? Looking over at uh, energies real quick, natural gas, still building, so it looks like it's building a launch pad here, ready to uh, to have another pop and run. We did get long down here. We sold here and over here, and uh, now we're, we're just going to kind of let it be at this point. I mean, it does look like it wants to pop to the upside, but uh, it's a very fast mover. Uh, really, we want uh, some type of uh, clear setup where it goes extended into a very significant pivot zone and then uh, has some type of bounce and reversal. At this point, it's kind of lingering here, but the way natural gas moves is um, it can be a significant move the next day at the open in either direction. It's kind of a 50-50 uh, bet on which way it's going at this point. It is stuck under resistance, this little cluster through here. And of course, this area over here as well. So uh, we'll see if it can get through there, but not looking to trade it at this point. Natural gas up one, or sorry, crude oil up one percent. We've got uh, it's ping ponging around between this uh, um, support and resistance area. We had a very clean uh, candle pattern here, where it came down. We had four inside bars followed by a follow through bar. Those act as a very clear floor and ceiling for the market. And more or less, we're ping ponging around between there. Overall, still looks bullish. It is trending higher now. Um, and uh, if this does continue up, we probably see it move up to the 60. Um, we do have a gap fill right up here. These two candles here up to the 60 area, potentially all the way up to the 62 um, going to the upside. So there is some good upside potential in crude. It is holding its ground. We'll see what the dollar does uh, going forward here in the next few days as that'll play a little bit there. Looking over at Bitcoin yesterday, down 3% today, up 3% overall continues to linger in this somewhat of a, a basing formation connecting these tops across here. You can see we are showing some signs of life with these green bars to the upside. There's some accumulation going on. We're starting to get some increased volume. So we'll see if this starts to break out in the next uh, couple of days or if it is going to break down and continue to uh, fizzle out and break these lows for some new lows um, going forward. Overall, though, it is showing signs that it is building a little bit of a base. Maybe we want to stick our toe in the water. We'll, we'll keep our eye on it and um, do a little more research on where Bitcoin could be going here in the near future. But it does have a nice basing formation. It's starting to show signs. And when it does break, we could start to see a pretty good run. And I bet you it could run to the 5000 pretty quick. So about $1,000 per coin move to the upside. Anyways, that's it for this morning. I'll talk to you a little bit. Bye-bye.